Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. I have a couple goals. My first one is there's a scholarship called the Gate Scholarship that it's it it doesn't guarantee me into Stanford, but it would really help just because Stanford is Stanford and their tuition is really high. But the goal for me is to get good grades and apply for the Gate Scholarship and get that. That's one of my first ones. My second goal is to be playing in in a lot more. I wouldn't say overseas tournaments, but a lot more golf tournaments out of state with a lot more competition. Mm. And my third one is to be to get most of my general education classes out the way. So my next year as a junior, for me, I'll be taking a lot of my general education classes at Sac City College here in Sacramento. So I'll get most of those out the way so that when I go to college, I'll be able to focus on my major a lot more. Right. Incredible. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. uh, it shocks me that still yeah. that you're um, junior. <laughs> it shocks me yeah. that he's still like, like he's about to be a junior and he's already way, like, way ahead, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Thank you know, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations, both of you guys. Um, Dr. Michael Houston, I had a question that just uh, arised when I was listening to Shamar and Emilio talk. And what is some insight or some advice that you have for us younger men when we're setting out to reach goals? You know, how did you attack that? What kind of mindset and what kind of positive self-talk did you practice when you were in college or when you were, uh, you know, in the service trying to achieve uh, goals that you had for yourself? Um, in, well, for me, it was it was according to the different scriptures. Uh, there's this one scripture out of Habakkuk 2. It says, uh, write the vision down, make it plain so that those who see it can run with it. So just write down what it is your vision is. You know, people call it now vision boards. Mm. So, so create a vision board for yourself. And every day that you get up, pass by it, look at it when you start your day off. And then that really aligns your thought processes to, so you can see where it is that you want to go and then do something towards that goal that day. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till the next day. Um, hit it. Even if it's something that's small, do something small because if you do something small, it's going to get you that much closer to your goal versus doing nothing. So I would just write it down. Just write it down put it up somewhere so that you can see it and then you can run with it. I know that that was some of the things that I did. You know, it's like, for me, it was just, it was prayer. I'm asking God, well, what is it that, you know, that I want to do that, that I got this green light, I can create whatever it is that I want, that I can be and do whatever it is that I want to be and actually believe in it. Because we do get two thoughts. We get that thought where it's like, I can't do this. And then we get that other thought. Who are you? Are you serious? You don't have that. And so I listen to the one that feeds my vision. And then I do something about it. And so, you know, I write it down. So write it down, fellas, write it down. And then that way, when you do get discouraged, when you do get to that point where you don't feel like doing it today, it's too hard, it's cold outside, or whatever excuses that come, just Look at the goal and say, okay, I'm, I'm going to do something little today, but tomorrow I'm, I'm going to hit it harder, but still move forward in it. I like that. I like that. It's kind of like making your goal non-negotiable, regardless of anything that stands in your way. 
It's non-negotiable. I got to wake up early in the morning and that's what I have to do until March so I can graduate early. You know what I mean? Or for me to get to get better at hitting a hole in one, I need to be up an hour earlier so I can get to the range and hit a hundred balls before I go to class or after class. Um, whatever that takes towards your goals, those got to be non-negotiable. 